will create a real 7 chat application powered by Hotwire. To begin, we'll create our blank application and we'll first install Stimulus or rather Tailwind CSS. So you can just copy this and paste it in. And then we can copy and install instructions. Paste it in once again. Then we can run our generator to generate our scaffold for our room. Rails generate scaffold room. And we'll have a title of type string. So users will be able to chat in various rooms. And then we can run our migration. Well, let's add device first. So we'll say bundle add device. And from the installation instructions, we'll copy that and run real generate device install. So we can add this uh, development.rb file. Then we can update our root of our application and our routes. We'll change it to rooms. And then we can add our notices and alerts in our application that HTML.arb file. And then finally, we can run Rails generate device user. And then we can run our migration and set up our server. So we'll run bin forward slash dev. So start foreman. And there we go, everything works fine. And one thing that we forgot to add was we head over to the device.rb file. And when we initialize it for a device, we can add a convict for our navigational formats, which will include turbo stream. So let's restart our application. So if we duplicate this, and we click on new here, we say first room. You can see our creation was successful, our create action was successful, but we want uh, when an action takes place, when a create action takes place, we want our pages to be updated immediately. And what we can use to do that would be turbo streams. So if we head over to our index.html.erb file for our rooms, we can define a turbo stream tag here. So you can say turbo stream from, and then we'll give this a name. We can call it room list and save. And if we head over to our our model file, the room.rb, we can say broadcast to, and we want to broadcast to a room, and we want to target our rooms list. So we save this. There should be plural here, rooms list. So we go to navigate to, oops, mistakenly deleted the end here. So if we come back here and we say second room, there we go. You can see our second room comes up. If we edit it, you can see our second room has been updated. So what we want to do next is we want to create 
our the scaffold for our messages so we come here go to our console and we can run rails generate scaffold message the message you have content of type text or we'll have user references and it would have room references I can run Rails DB migrate. Hmm. We go to our routes. We want to nest our messages in our rooms. So we've done that there. And if you head over to our messages controller, we want to have a way to identify identify the rooms that are that the messages belong to. So we can simply copy this method here, the set room. Head back here. Say rooms equal to room dot find, and we'll change this to room ID. And we can use a before action to set room and we also want to use a before action to authenticate our users similarly in our rooms we want to use a before action to authenticate the user but only on our show page because on the show page as well, we'll render our messages. And if we come here, you can see it's asking us to sign up. So if I say user1 at gmail.com, enter a password. And there we go. So our next step is we want to be able to render our messages in our show page. So first we'll head over to our form for our messages and we'll update this a bit. We want to have a room here. And close this out. Yeah. And then um, we can change this to message. We can use our find and replace. Let's see if messages. And that should be good. So we head back to our room controller. And our show page, you can see message is equal to message.new so that should be good there so if you go to our rooms views we'll create a, a partial here called message.html.erb what we want to do here is we simply want to Render out our messages and our form here. So we close this up and we can say render room dot messages and then render messages form. And we want to set room to be equal to room. So next we'll add our relationships. If you go to room, you can say room has many messages. You can do the same for user. You can say has many messages. So we head over to our show page for rooms. We can simply say render 
message and then we want to pass room and the value for that will be the instance variable of room if we come back here you can see our form loads out so what we can do if we head over to our form because we can just set this as hidden values here we can look here we can say value is current user dot id and here we can say value is room dot id if we save it we come back here we see our user id and our room id you simply say hidden hidden and there we go and one more thing that we would like to do is we forgot to do this in our controller for messages um after the successful creates we want to be redirected to let's see our message dot room so we'll come back to the room after the message has been created successfully so if we say first message there we go we can see our content our user id our room we can say second message you can see it there right so what we can do next is we come here rendering room that messages we can update this here we can remove our room id and our message user id also you see first message by um message the user not email so you can say first message by second message by and there we go with that so what we want to do next if we come here and we look this is our second room We can see that our content after we created our set our message here it didn't load up here because there's no stream connection here so what we can do is if we head over to our message that rb we can say we can say broadcast to room and if we go to our show page for our rooms we can go ahead and say turbo stream from room so if we save this here And say from the left page. So if we restart our application, which I just did, and we try once again. New message from user one. You'll see it. Our new message shows up. And they both show up here. So that is all for our application right now.